In this tutorial, we're going to see what Elementor Pro version 3, currently in beta, is going to give us. This is the GitHub page. I'm going to go through on an actual site what the new features are and how they work and how they look. And when the public version comes out, they probably won't be too much different. Might be a few small changes, a lot of bugs being squashed between now and then. But basically, what you see in this video is probably what you're going to get when the public version comes out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started on this one. As of four days ago on the Elementor GitHub page, version 3 beta 2 was announced. I've linked to this page in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. And basically version 3 is going to give us improvements to global colors, global typography, and site settings and a new and improved and revamped theme builder. These are things that are great to have, but they're not exactly innovations. They're just improving things that are already there. And the reason I say that is when you understand the versioning of software, when you increment the very first number, normally it's a major, major update. So on Wikipedia, under software versioning, right here, it explains how software versioning works. It's a little bit of an aside. This little image shows everything we need to know. The very first number, when that one's changed, it's a major improvement. The second number is a minor improvement, and the third number is just a patch. So the first is the most important, second is pretty important, and the third one is also important, but nobody really notices that one. So we should see major, major improvements whenever the first number is incremented. And we're gonna be incrementing to version three, but the changes are mostly improvements to what's already there. When Elementor incremented to version two, that's when they introduced the theme builder functionality where you could build complete themes with header and footer templates. And that was game changing amongst theme builders. Version three update, I'm gonna predict is not exactly game changing. It's still great, but maybe not game changing level innovation. So let's see what this actually looks like in a WordPress site with our new versions of Elementor. I have version three free beta five and version pro three beta two. And when I go into any page, let's just go to my home page here, edit with Elementor. We see a new logo style, new branding for Elementor. Click on the hammer icon. We see more streamlined site settings, theme builder and user preferences and less clutter in this area right here. If you click on site settings, you can do a lot of the stuff that you'd normally do outside of Elementor right in here. For example, site identity, you do under settings in general. We can do that right in here now. Upload a site logo, upload a favicon. A lot of these things you could do before. Some things are new, but this is now more streamlined. And user preferences and the theme builder, which we'll talk about in just a minute. This is a link that actually takes you to the new theme builder, which I want to first show you a different way to get there. But remember that this button takes you there as well. Let's go exit the dashboard to leave this page and now go to Elementor, Templates, and Theme Builder. And now this is where the revamp look comes in that they talked about right here, revamped theme builder. It gives you a much more visual representation of what the theme builder looks like. If you don't recall what the old one looked like or you didn't even know what it looked like, let me refresh your memory with the currently released public version of the Elementor theme builder. We're under our templates, Elementor theme builder, and this is what we have, lists of templates. Right now there's only one, so it's not much of a list, but you'd, be, you'd see them listed here just like pages or posts are listed on the pages and posts summary page. Now we have it much more visual with nice icons. And on the right hand side, we have a little navigator to help us navigate to certain areas, the single product and products archive. Those are WooCommerce specific. You will not see those if you don't have WooCommerce installed. And if I click into any one of these, we have our very familiar builder experience. Let's just add a page in here. Let's go to, this is a single post. Let's add a blog page. Let's do this one. And let's change, oh, let's not change. This is our page right here, looking good. Let's publish that. Add a condition, all single posts. Now get this template and let's exit out of here. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the theme builder by clicking on this link here. And now we have our first template right here. Click into header, we don't have any there. Single post, it shows the one we just built. So it shows the templates you have in each category, or you can view all, clicking on all parts. If we go to single post, we see it's much bigger. There's much more data when I go to the single post one, including three dots where we can rename the title. Let's 
going to call this blog post template. Now it's updated. Who created it? The date they created it. We click on edit, it goes into the editor. We can click on export and delete if we want to. And we see this little green dot. This green dot means that this template is active on a page somewhere on the site. Sometimes in the old version, out of a bunch of templates in here, they wouldn't be in draft because I published them, but they also wouldn't be assigned anywhere. So I wouldn't know where they are, what they're doing, but now we can see that they're actually being used, which I think is a great feature to have. If you want to edit the conditions, normally you'd have to go into the template builder, click a little tiny down arrow beside the publish button, very hard to get to. Now every template has an edit conditions link. Click on that and it goes to edit the conditions. If I turn this off, let's not assign this to anything. Let's save and close. Now this dot is gray, no longer green because we're not using it. This is a published template, but we are not using it, so it's gray. I think that's a great feature to have so you know at a glance what's being used and what's not. And we also have our thumbnail or a thumbnail specific to the template that we created. This is not what was there before. It was just an icon before. I'll show you what I mean. I'll click on add new. It's going to go into the new template builder. If it is exit out of here, back to the theme builder, it's going to have our new single post that we just created and didn't do anything with, but it has the icon that we saw earlier. And that's what I mean. It pulls in the actual thumbnail. And here it's pulling in the actual thumbnail too. It's just a blank page, but it pulls in the actual thumbnail of what you're creating, which at a glance helps you identify what that template is. Over here, if you didn't name them very well, you have to click into each one and see which one's which. So that's huge time savings. I wouldn't say this is innovation. I would say this is an improvement of what's already there. Although, I mean, back up, back up. If you look at this template builder page here, compare this to this and the amount of time savings you get by having a link right in the theme builder to come back to here, by having the green active dots or gray not active dots on the site, it might not be innovation exactly. It might not be something that's never been done before. It might just be an improvement of what Elementor has already built, but it is still very, very handy. And I really appreciate having those features. And that about summarizes the main features that we're gonna get in version three pro. Go to this page and have a read through it. I believe they also published a blog post about it and you learn everything you need to know about what this update contains. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, consider buying it through the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link and I do get a small commission if you buy through that link, but it does not make it more expensive for you to buy it that way. But I do get a small commission that helps me keep making these fantastic videos for you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out this video up here where I show you the new integration between Elementor and LearnDash and I give you my opinion on it. And it's not a glowing opinion. I'm happy the integration's there, but it probably could have been done better. But this video goes through all my thoughts on that integration. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.